Good day everyone. Today we will be having our chemistry class on the uses of coal and properties of carbon. And this will be brought to you by the primal laboratory. Firstly, let's look at coal as a whole. Coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock. Um, it's formed as strata called coal seams. And majorly, it's formed by geological processes. That's where you have fossil flour for deposit of dead remains being converted. And it's as well as a non renewable source of energy since it can be replaced. And the major component of coal is carbon and other supplements which are sulfur, hydrogen nitrogen, oxygen, and others. Now let's go into the major uses of coal. Now coal is considered the most like available or the cheapest form of energy. The first use is in generating electricity. As we all know, electricity, electricity is something that is inevitable in our everyday life now. Coal is generally used in the thermal power generation, which further helps to produce electricity. Here, the powdered coal is burned at a very high temperature, which is further turned into water and then steam. While the steam is used to turn turbines, and these turbines are the basis of our electricity, that is, generation of electricity. We also have in the production of steel, coal is used because here it is used indirectly. And what happens is that the coal is baked into furnaces to form coal coke. Once this is formed, the manufacturer uses this coal coke to smelt iron into um, the processes that make steel. Here, ammonia gas has been given off, recovered, and used to manufacture nitric acid. The next one is, is used in industry also. In industries, Coal are used to manufacture several products such as the manufacture of cement, paper, aluminium. Chemical and pharmaceutical industries also make great use of coal as raw material, like in coal tar, sulfate of ammonia, chrysoids, and so on. The next use of coal is the gasification and liquefaction. Now, coal is being turned into synthetic gas with a mixture of carbon monoxide, that is CO, and hydrogen. However, these chemical products from coal are used primarily to make other products. Most of the products out there in the market have coal or coal byproducts. And lastly, coal are used for domestic purposes. We still have areas that use coal in production of the domestic energy like fuel for cooking and sources of heat. So these are some of the major uses of coal. And this is a setup to show how coal is being converted into electricity. You can see from the supply of coal here down to the substation where electricity can be transferred to our high tension cables. Now let's look at the properties of carbon. Firstly, the physical properties. One of the physical properties of carbon is that it is soft and dull grey or black in color. It occurs in several allotropic forms. As we discussed earlier, we have the different allotropes of carbon, that is the amorphous carbon, graphite and diamond. Then carbon has an atomic number of six in the periodic table, that's its arrangement, and a mass number or atomic mass of 12 gram per mole. The density of carbon at 20 degrees Celsius is 2.2 gram per cubic centimeter, and it has a melting point of 3,652 degrees Celsius. Also, it has a boiling point of 4,827 degrees Celsius and having seen this let's go to the chemical properties of carbon now 
basically carbon compounds undergo four reactions and these are the frequency properties one combustion re combustion reaction when we talk about combustion it literally means burning an element or a substance in oxygen as in air and looking at this carbon bond in oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and heat so this is a typical example of uh, combustion of carbon that's carbon burning in air which is combustion next we have the oxidation reaction oxidation simply means the addition of oxygen to a particular substance or compound now this is our pure carbon here we're acting with lead oxide and here you have lead plus co2 which means carbon has gained oxygen and one of the definition of oxidation is the addition of oxygen to substance then we have the addition reaction where element combines with carbon if you look at this first combustion reaction so carbon combines with oxygen to give a new substance there is on the as an, as an example of the addition reaction too since elements have been added to carbon next we have the substitution reaction where carbon is displaced and another element can take its place this can be seen from a second example also that organization where you can see carbon takes the place of lead and combines with um, oxygen to give us co2 now that will be all for now the assignment for today will be briefly explain some of the uses of coal you know does give possible ways coal can be used with a brief explanation and secondly you state two physical properties as well as two chemical properties of carbon you know thanks